Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Ever since I created this video which allowed all of you to deploy um, a GPT-40 model on Azure AI for absolutely free and then use it with your cursor installations to get Cursor Pro for absolutely free. I got a lot of love and a lot of comments from all of you. But what came up very recently is that something changed with Cursor they updated their version and now this trick does not work anymore. So every time now you use the composer mode or the agent mode with cursor, you get an error like this one that says that agent and edit rely on custom models that require pro or business. I did come up with a workaround where you can download an older version of cursor and this trick used to work but now even that does not work. There's no way around this that I could find. So I'm, I'm back with another video where I show you different alternatives to cursor that work just as well if not better and what you can do to get your own cursor pro version for absolutely free now with this trick uh, cursor tab didn't used to work now agent mode does not work either only chat works so with the with the new trick the new methods that I'm going to show you, everything is going to work. Cursor, tap, like features, agent mode, composer modes, chat, every single thing. And this is absolutely free. You don't have to pay anything for any of these extensions that I'm going to show you. But you do need a way to deploy your LLMs, to deploy models, for which I recommend that you watch this video, which shows how you can access these Azure credits, about $150,000 worth of credits for absolutely free. How you can get them is shown step by step in this video. So go ahead, watch this video, and then watch this video to know how you can deploy one of these models. So if you start watching this video from this five minute timestamp, if you don't want to watch the whole thing, if you've already watched it, then just watch it from here. Once you get the credits through this video, you watch this video to see how you can deploy a large language model. I've already deployed GPT-40 for myself. I have the URL and the key and I'm going to use this with our setup so that we have a replacement, a like to like replacement for cursor for absolutely free. So let's dive into it. Now before I proceed, I just want to highlight that about more than 98% of you are not subscribed to my channel. So I highly recommend that you subscribe to my channel so I get the push, the motivation to make more such cool videos that help you in your journey as a developer. Do subscribe to my channel and make sure to turn on the notifications so you get notified every time I come up with a cool video. Alright, let's dive in. So the first thing that we're going to use is Gemini Code Assess. Now before you start thinking that this might be another uh, semi-free or free trial, it's not. Gemini has a no-cost model for individuals if you are an individual like me you can use gemini for absolutely free you don't have to pay a single penny you don't have to register your credit card or debit card information to be able to use this and this works just as well as code github copilot or cursor tab so let's install gemini code assist and use it as a replacement for the first feature that we want to replace from cursor which is the cursor tab so go to extensions click right here in your vs code and search for Gemini code assist once you do that you would see this link make sure to download this extension only and make sure to download it from the verified publisher google.com I already have this installed so I'm just going to uninstall it for you and then reinstall it so we see how this actually works once you have this extension installed you would see this Gemini button on the left and if you click on it it will either ask you to sign in if you're already signed in like I am it will just work it will open this page otherwise it will ask you to sign in with your Google account just click on it it's very simple just use your Google account to sign in and you are in now if you see I have copilot installed it comes with VS code but I have not configured it so it's not going to use copilot if you see it asked me to sign in so it's we are not using copilot here we are using Gemini and you see the status is on so this works very similar to github copilot or cursor tab and if you see as soon as I uh, am here it starts giving me suggestions so if I click on this I create the topic and then what I want to do is I want to replace this now this is not as mature as cursor tab or github copilot where it just replaces the next uh, next line for you but I think it will get there and Gemini being absolutely free I think this is the best extension available out there for these kind of use cases for inline code editing uh, using AI and you don't need any credit card information you don't need to pay absolutely a single penny it's absolutely free 
and it also has the chat feature which is why we don't need anything for chat separately so you can ask what does this file do and it will come up with a summary of everything this file does and if you see it was super fast it, I, I think it's faster than github copilot or cursor to be honest and you see the very detailed summary of what this file does um, super fast absolutely free this is the way to go now the only uh, drawback with Gemini is that it does not support multi-file editing so if I were to ask it optimize this code then while it may come up with a solution to optimize it it does not automatically apply the changes and definitely if we can apply it to a single file uh, what it, what does not work is if you want to apply the changes to multiple files so if you are working on a more complex application like we are uh, with this app this if you don't remember if you have not watched my videos this is a Kafka uh, this is the code that we wrote with our Kafka tutorial I have a video on the channel which teaches you how to use Kafka start to end uh, absolutely amazing video it's a it's an hour long video it teaches everything you need to know about Kafka so make sure to watch that video as well if that interests you but coming back if you see it comes up with answers so it works as a chat mode similar to chat GPT but it does not make the changes for you so that is something that we need from cursor and if you see if I go to cursor settings and I turn off my custom model and I create a new chat and here now I can ask, I can use the agent mode to ask it to optimize this file. So I'm going to ask it to optimize this file. And if you see, it will come back with suggestions and it will automatically uh, change the code and it will ask me to verify the code. So if you see, it's making the changes and it has made all the changes. Now, before we look at the changes or before we accept or deny, what I'm going to do I'm, is I'm going to go back to VS Code and install this extension called Client. Now Klein is another open source extension. This is absolutely free. It's open source. You can go to GitHub and view its code. And if you see by, by the time of recording this video, it already has 1 million installs, which is more if you remember. If you saw Gemini, Gemini has only about 450,000 installs so far, but Klein has over 1 million installations. So it's perfectly safe, very good extension. Uh, it supports connecting to any LLM that you deploy on your own and uh, it's absolutely free and open source so you, there's no risk you can go and view the code and you can see what's going on behind the scenes unlike cursor where they don't show you the code so the only thing that you need is an azure account and you need to deploy this model for which again i have two videos you watch them you get these models llms for absolutely free um, and then once you have the model if you go to client once you have installed client so if I click on this, it will install client for me. And then you would see this extension right here. This robot face that you see, this is client. Um, now I had this already configured, but what happens when you do it for the first time? It will ask you to either sign up using client or provide your own model. Since we are going to use our own model, I'm going to select this drop down and I'm going to say open AI compatible but if you want to use client it will tell you that you can sign up with client and you can configure your own cloud models and it will tell you the cost etc now this cost is not for using client but for using the large language model itself so while the extension is free obviously you need to pay for the model which is the same as what we were doing with cursor pro by running our own custom models but because we are deploying the model on azure using the azure credits we don't have to pay anything for now or as long as we have the credits but with Claude, if you want to use Claude since Claude is not available with Azure you need to pay Anthropic but there is another solution if you want to use Claude you can deploy those models on AWS Bedrock and AWS also has startup programs similar to Azure the one that we signed up for the Founders Hub program where you can get these LLMs for absolutely free for multiple years and if you want to see a video uh, similar to this one where we sign up for the AWS program and we get these credits for free do comment down below and I'll make a video to sign up for AWS free credits and then use the cloud models with line and other you and come up with other use cases to use these models for free but for now since we don't have cloud we have OpenAI and we are going to use Azure so you need to select OpenAI compatible from this drop down 
and you need to provide the URL and the API key which comes from here so you copy the URL and you copy the API key and you give the model ID which in our case is GPT-40 it does tell you that Klein works better with Claude because Claude has a better model when it comes to code generation but GPT-40 is not bad it's going to work pretty well for us at least so finally once we have the model configured now I'm going to ask the same question you see I have the producer file opened uh, I'm going to ask it to optimize this code the exact same thing that we asked the cursor to do optimize this file and then I'm going to click on add so if you see there's a plan more where it, uh, it plans just plans and comes up you know gathers information and comes up with a plan of what could be done but add is where it actually does the coding and everything for you and if you see here I've select deselected auto approve and if I expand this you'll see it supports all kinds of things in addition to reading files and directories it also supports opening browsers and launching launching browsers and opening websites uh, to gather information from the internet so that is not something I think cursor does so this is a step up from cursor for sure I'm going to select deselect this for now to show you how it works I'm going to send this message and what it does it makes an API request to the model that we configured now it's asking me to read this file I got to approve because we have not selected auto approve it's going to ask us to approve any access that it requires so I'm going to allow it to access this producer file and if you see it first comes up with a plan of what could be done and now if you see if you look at the output you would see that it came back with a similar output it added some try catch blocks this is also something uh, yeah cursor did the same now if you see the diff mode in Klein I find this better it's much more intuitive at least for me to look at especially when the files are too large this inline diff doesn't I don't like it so much so I'm going to use, accept this change and I'm going to open press command B on Mac open this window and then I'm going to click on this git option I'm going to click here and I'm going to close chat and settings to see the difference side by side similar to this one I will also close line or uh, before that I'm going to save these changes and once I save it go, it creates a checkpoint so if there are more things to be done it keeps creating these checkpoints and then uh, keeps proceeding so that you know it has a larger context window that way and then it completed the task it says what it did and uh, I'm not going to read this but I'm going to close this now and if I come back to cursor you will see that the changes are <laughs> actually exactly the same it's using .env now it's getting the client id and brokers from process.env and we have the try catch and finally blocks which we didn't have earlier so it's pretty good if you ask me it did the exact same thing now in this case we are not using a custom model mind you we are not using the model that we have deployed if you go back to cursor settings and models you'll see this is disabled so we are not using our own model we are using cursors model but in this case we are using our own model so the output is exactly the same so why pay $20 a month to cursor when you can get the exact same output for absolutely free and you have better control over your own code with cursor this is not open source this is their own code this is everything that they have built on their own they have hidden everything from us and they charge you $20 a month minimum whereas you get the exact same output for absolutely free then why not go for it right so I really like Klein I'm going to continue to use Klein and then and then see how well it does you know in different scenarios compared to cursor and even github copilot so if you want a comparison video of line and cursor do comment down below and i'll create that video for you but that's it for now this is very simple this is all you needed to replace cursor entirely you don't need to come up with any hacks or tricks anymore or uh, you know come up with different trial accounts or configure custom models etc to use cursor you have the ultimate cursor alternative for absolutely free right in your vs code you don't even need to change your ide anymore all you need is gemini code assist and client the only two tools that you need which are both absolutely free and obviously you need to deploy your own llms which you can do again for free if you watch my videos so thank you for watching make sure to like this video and comment down below if you have any questions and if you want me to create some specific videos on topics that you like such as if you want me to 
explain how to get credits on AWS or come up with a comparison video of Klein and Cursor. And maybe I can use the cloud models in that comparison video, which are better than GPT-4.0. Do comment down below. I'll definitely create those videos and make sure to subscribe to my channel. I keep coming up with such cool videos that help you in your developer journey. I also have a lot of tutorial videos, so go ahead and watch them. Thank you for watching. See you again. Bye-bye.